Hey, today I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do a vacuum cleaner exorcism, or how to clean your vacuum cleaner, and I'm also going to demonstrate the new 3M half face filter that I just got in the mail. Uh, they sent me a freebie to try it out, and I said I will give it a chance. I'm going to recommend this little guy because usually when I use a mask to save myself from dust, the ones that I've been using always leave me with a bad taste in my mouth or they just don't work. This one's got a dual filter and it's been working pretty good. A couple of things that you need to clean your vacuum cleaner are going to be, number one, a mask. Because there is going to be dust flying everywhere. And another thing that I use is my handy dandy compressor. I use this little guy for everything. It's charged right now, so during the video you're probably going to hear it kick on to charge itself again. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our little filter mask. And it's really easy, and hopefully you guys can still hear me, because I'm not taking this thing off. So, once you got it on, the first thing, of course, to do <laughs> is cough. Take out your canister, and you can see this puppy's pretty full. Now, this particular model is a Bizzle, and it's got a canister with a filter on the bottom. So, we're going to dump the canister. And I'm going to trash can the this clip just so you guys can see it. Then, unscrew the bottom and take the filter out. Okay. Now, inside the Bissell unit, up inside there's another unit, another, I guess it's like a little catch-all. Just unscrew it and bring it down. And then there's a little filter piece in here. If you want to go extreme, you can take out the HEPA filter, and then you can begin. Once you've got it all apart, take your air compressor, and away we go. Next step is take the hose apart and just give it a shot in there. Just go ahead and give it a shot. I'm safe up here. But I'm putting this back on now. Okay, got my mask, I've got my pieces, I've got everything charged. I'm going to ask my lovely wife, Christy, who's running the camera. Hi, babe. Hello. To step back, because this is going to get messy.
going to be... Uh, this is going to be the worst part, because this little filter is packed with dust, particles, everything. String, who knows what's in here. Uh, this I would recommend every now and then just replace it, but if you don't have the money and you want to, it's like brand new and it's just dusty, you can go ahead and clean it. There's no way you can clean this with a brush or a toothbrush. I always use a compressor and it is going to be messy. Oh. What you want to do with this is take the compressor, and I'm using this little handy dandy tool, is get inside the actual filter crevices here and clean each one and also clean the one from the back. Yeah, my wife is getting some dust particles. She's not happy with me right now.
Okay, you've got all your components clean, and I do want to tell you that every time that you use the air hose to pressure wash one of these things, or to clean all the dust out of it, you are doing a little bit of damage to it. So eventually, you are going to have to rebuild it or replace not rebuild, replace it completely. Uh, I would say go by the manufacturer's recommendation as to how long to replace these. We vacuum almost every day, so I would say like every two three months, replace it. In the meantime, go ahead and clean it. You're not done yet. You've got all the components clean. You've got your hose clean. But come down here, and usually you're going to find... <coughs> I'm killing my wife, man. I hope these videos are worth it. Okay, these little guys just snap off. You pull up, and you pull out as you do that. There's usually a couple of them. This one has three. Take it out because it gets dusty as well. And then what you want to do is grab your roller bar here and just pull it out. Take it off the belt. The reason you do that is because you're going to find that there's all sorts of stuff that's been wound up inside. I've got three kids, so there's going to be string, hair, God knows what in here. There seems to be a lot of uh, hair. And I did this just like the other day, so there's really not that much, but it was vacuumed today. And sure enough, just give it a little squirt here. And I just go ahead and clean the bottom of the unit. I do want to go ahead and recommend the 3M half half uh, face filter mask. It's very very good. The other masks that I've used to do these always leave me coughing or choking. This one does not. So props to it. You can go extreme and take apart the motor casing and clean that out. I'm not going to do that on this video. Also, you can go ahead and go extreme and you can pop these end caps off and take out the whole rod assembly and clean out. Usually there's some hair and stuff that gets in there. So you want to get that, but not maybe like once a year do that. And that's simple enough. Just put a screwdriver in there, pop it off, take the unit out, clean it, and then put it back together again. Putting it back together is a little bit of a pain. You've got two slots here where these go into. And you'll notice this one is round, but this one is almost square shaped. It's got to go in just that. It's got to slide. When you put it in there, it's got to slide and be fully flush so it doesn't hit the unit. The pain, though, is this belt. You're going to have to stretch it. So go ahead and take your belt, stretch it, and put the round slot in. And then what I do is I go in and I put in the square one by turning it until it goes into its slot. There we go. Give it a little spin so that the belt falls into place. And then just reassemble your vacuum. I've got my little rag here because even though the compressor gets it all, I like to go ahead and just wipe it down a little bit. Every time you do this, you add a little bit of life to your vacuum and it also is going to clean a lot better. Okay, that's assembled. Give it a good one's all. I love compressors. 
They are a wonderful thing. My wife hates compressors. They're loud, noisy, and I make a lot of my mess. Put your filter back in, give it a good turn, lock it in place. Put the unit back together again. Oops. Catch all in here. Assemble that. Lock it. Put your headphones. Put your hose assembly back in, and then before you do anything else, power it up. And make sure you got good suction. Then finish putting it back together again. And you just got yourself a handy dandy vacuum cleaner that's got a little bit more power to it now. It'll clean a lot better. Uh, like I said, we use it like every other day. So it is a good idea at least once a week to bring it on out here. Don't just think that by emptying the canister you're good to go. The other components need to be cleaned as well. <laughs> having issues with the cord. It's always good to be able to laugh at yourself. And you're done. Put your stuff away and you are good to go. Now your wife is happy. And you feel like a better man for doing a manly thing. Thanks. Until next time. See ya.